Okay, so now I'm going to go through um, very quickly how to block out for a realistic character. Um, I have my uh, front view on the right side and then my left view on the left. Um, turn on the textures for both and x-ray mode. Okay, um, just like the V-boy, I'm going to use a cube and um, subdivision width and height that change it to 2 by 2 by 2 cut the model into half and then start blocking it out so I'm going to use this cube as my body first so very quickly just move it into position okay just like the V boy uh, you want to match as much as possible to the outline of the model if you can't match it's okay you don't have to be don't spend too much time doing the blocking stage to match. Okay, you just want to have a rough um, position of it. Okay, just use moving, scaling, all the basic um, tools to navigate. Okay, to my perspective view. Same thing just like the V boy. The top is too squarish, so we need to smoothen it out. Just need to select the center vertex or the edges at the center and push it out. This way your body won't look so squarish. Alright, the other way is you can select those corner vertex and push it in. Okay, it will look much more rounder already. So the front is done, very quick and easy. We're going to do the legs. Okay, so legs, the same as your V-boy. We're going to use a cylinder of six sides. Keep it simple, keep it to six. You want to use eight, also can. Okay, put it into position. Okay, I'm going to scale it up to match the tie muscle on the left. Okay, um, okay now the front will match. So I have to undo, unfortunately, undo the scaling. So the front is okay, but the left is not. So I have to use my vertex mode and shift it to the position. Go to my face, select the bottom faces. Okay, the one at the bottom. Extrude. Okay, control E to extrude. Use the scale tool, scale it down. Move it to position. Okay, you don't have to worry about rotating, you know, that kind of stuff. You can always do it later on. Okay, all I want to do is a very quick blocking of the shape. Don't want to spend too much time on the topology. I just want to do the shape first. Okay, once this is done, check my front view. Front view looks okay. You know, you can see certain things that are not matching. Don't worry about that. Come back to it later. Okay, so once this is done, you can do the same for the hand. Okay, don't play cheat, huh? don't select the leg, don't duplicate and move it here and rotate. Huh? Don't do that. Okay, you can see that the arm is way too small than the leg already. Okay, what you need to do is create a new cylinder, move it to position. Okay, do not forget to reduce the subdivision count to 6. Rotate 90 degree. Okay, scale it down to size. Okay, and start to extrude. Control E to extrude, move it out, scale it down. Okay, control E to extrude, move it out, scale it down. Okay, so I have the waist, sorry, not the waist, the wrist, the elbow over here. Okay, I can scale this down smaller. Okay, move it to the left. Okay, this line that you see here, this edge is somewhere near the elbow. This is where the shoulder is going to be. 
Okay, this is where my bicep is going to be. Okay. Okay, same thing for the head. Okay, I'm going to create a box. Create a cube. Move it up. Change it to 2 by 2 by 2. Enter. Okay, delete half of it. Vertex mode. Move it into position. Okay, so this is my current blocking, looks very fat, okay, which we uh, need to spend some time uh, to go in to uh, refine the shape okay, later on. So that's it for the first part of blocking, save the file.